Welcome to the second lesson of Doctor Who. Today we're going to learn a new technique called double stopping. We'll also learn section two. We'll then recap the first section that we learned in the last lesson and put the whole thing together into a performance. Have a good lesson. Okay, now we're gonna learn the words for section two. So I need you to give me your best Dalek voices and repeat after me. Dalek attack. Dalek attack. Dalek attack. Oh, excellent. You know what? I'm even a little scared. Let's see if we can say that four times. Ready? One, two, three, four. Dalek attack. Dalek attack. Dalek attack. Dalek attack. Let's do it one more time. Remember, four times after four. One, two, three, four. Dalek attack. Dalek attack, Dalek attack, Dalek attack. Ooh, really well done. Let's warm up by using rockets. Okay, rocket on D. Rocket on D. Rocket on G. Rocket on G. Rocket on D. Rocket on A. Rocket on A. Rocket on D. First finger red. One on E. First finger red. Open D. One on red. Open D. We're going to learn a new technique called double stopping. It's where you play two strings at the same time. And in the case of Doctor Who, we're going to be playing D and G. So that was my D and G separately. If I play them at the same time, it sounds like this. Okay, now if I'm, I'm playing the violin, so that means I have to get my chicken wing at exactly the right angle to hit both strings. If I go too high, I'm just gonna play the G on its own. Viola players, if you go too high, you're gonna hit your C string. Cello players, you need to drop your chicken wing so that you're going across your two middle strings like that. If you go too low, you're also gonna hit your C string. So, can we get our bow on our D and our G strings and can you copy me back, please? Good, well done. Remember, you can always rewind this and practice if you haven't quite got it right. All right, now we've learned how to do double stopping, we need to learn how to do section two. Section two starts by playing the G and the D string together with the rhythm Dalek attack. So let's try doing that four times like this. <laughs> with me after four. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. The next thing we do is we play our D and A string once and then our G and D string three times like this. Get ready to play that with me after four. One, two, three, four. are thicker strings. So violas and cellos, you're going to use C and G together. Violins, you're going to use G on its own. So violas and cellos, like this. Violins, like this. And we're going to move from, if you're viola and cello, C and the G, G and the D. C and the G, G and the D, like this. If you're 
your violin, it's G on its own, G with the D. G on its own, G with the D. Like this. <laughs> Try that after four. Ready? One, two, three, four. And that's the whole of section two. So let's play it all together after four, starting with the G and the D string four times, then D and the A, G and the D, G and the D, G and the D, and then moving to violas and cellos, C with the G. G in the D, C with the G, G in the D. Violins, G on its own, G with the D, G on its own, G with the D. So get ready with me after four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> exercise for your chicken wing okay and for making sure you get a really really beautiful sound from your instrument don't forget you can always rewind this video and try it again we're now going to play section two with the backing track get ready on your G and D strings <laughs> Okay, let's recap section one and section three, where we play Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Ah! So we get our first finger on the red sticker on the D string. Okay, and we play. Do it with me. One, two, three, four. Now when we play it in section three, remember we do a tremolo at the end. This is a tremolo. Do it with me. Okay, we're going to have a practice of playing section three along with the backing track. It's quite fast, so you need to be ready. Okay, I'm going to press go, but I'll count you in. Here we go. section one, two and three, we're ready to put together a full performance. Wait for Rachel to count us in after four, then straight away play section one six times. Once you play that, move straight to section two with your Dalek attack, double stopping. And finally, wait a bit longer for Rachel to count us in before we play section three seven times. And hey, don't forget your tremor.
click the link below to enter your answer, find out if you were right and score points for your school. Your scores will be entered into the Nottingham Music Hub School scoreboard. Well done for completing the second lesson of Doctor Who. You've done a great job. You've learnt how to do double stopping. You've also learnt how to play tremolo. That's two new techniques for you. Well done. OK, we we'll look forward to seeing you at another lesson. Just keep checking our website and keep checking our YouTube channel and we'll see you again soon.